Hi, so it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. I've got loads of ideas and there's going to be loads of videos to come. This video is going to be all about comparing two different Grishko models, the 2007 or 2007, whatever you want to call it, to the Nova 2007. Now I'm going to do a series of these comparing all different models so I can try to educate you guys the best I can about the differences between them. Um, so let's cut straight to it. So this is the Grishko 2007 model and I'm going to compare it to the Nova 2007. Um, some people just call it the Nova. Now I have here a Nova Pro. I just want to tell you guys what Pro means. The Pro basically means that the shoe is um, quiet. So it doesn't make as much noise as um, a traditional um, Nova. The Pro can be available in many different Grishko models. I'll do a video all about that too. Um, I've also found that in the Pro model, um, the shanks are um, the same, um, but I did find that in the Pro version of the 2007, the shank is just a little bit more flexible. Not sure why that is. Um, also, the Pro version of the 2007 tends to have a bit more flex in the box, maybe due to a different paste, maybe it uses the same paste as Nova. I will need to confirm that. So first of all, let's talk to you about the shape of the shoe. So the 2007 is quite a tapered shoe. I'm gonna be comparing for you two shoes of the same size and width. So these two are both four and a half and they're both a 4X width and they're both in medium shank. So I thought it would be nice to compare, you know, the same sizing. So the 2007 is quite a tapered box and it has um, quite a hard paste in the box. It also has quite a high heel and the satin is a standard satin. The shank is layered in a way that it's still got a nice generous bend of the three quarter area and a nice roll through. It also has this machine stitched sole. Nova is made on the same last. Now what that means is it's made to be the same shape. But in my opinion, and in quite a few others, they feel that the box is a little bit more broad. And I totally feel that if you look, it does look a little bit different in shape. Hopefully you can see that. What I'll do in a second is um, I'll film the shoes from afar so you can really see them in detail. The Nova box looks more broad, right? Like I just said. Um, the vamps are the same. And if you didn't know what the vamp is, the vamp is this part. The cut of the vamp is slightly different. Um, the Nova has a more deeper U-cut vamp than the 2007. I'm just going to get the little booklet that comes with Novas out just so I can tell you what Grishko themselves say. So this is the little booklet that comes with Nova. Just making sure I've got everything right here. Pretty sure I have because I've had years of experience with these shoes. So it says about the double upper. Now, I personally really love the double, up, double upper and I get my own special order made with it. The double upper fabric preserves the shape of the point shoe. Now, what they mean by that is the satin, it looks more sleek. Can you see this? And it's due to the double upper. So it's got like a double layer inside. So therefore, it's more smoother in appearance compared to a 2007 can you see it's not as smooth but let me just say that you know it's important to go with a point shoe that fits you don't get um kind of obsessed with the features try them on to see if it works for you um obviously if you do wear a 2007 it's very likely you'll get on with nova as well but by all means make sure you get fitted correctly can't stress that enough so the double upper does make a difference in my opinion also, we want to speak about the heel. Now, the heel height on the 2007 is higher than the Nova. So, if you would prefer a lower cut heel um, and it looks more sleek on your foot, then by all means go for this one. But if you prefer a higher heel, go for this one. Just remember, you can customise Grishko pointers as well. So, if you like the Nova but you didn't like the heel, you can by all means get the heel made higher if you wish. 
It also says in the little leaflet here, contemporary material on the shoe base enhances flexibility and soundproof quality. Ah, I see. So basically on the Nova, the platform has um, a different material, so it's got more soundproof. So by all means, the actual Nova by itself apparently has soundproof quality anyway, um, in regards to the Pro as well. Uh, one thing I um, really enjoy about the Nova is it has very long wings. Now, if you, if I have a dancer that I put a shoe double seven on her or him, and I feel that the wings are not high enough, like her bunga might be popping out, um, or it just might not look as sleek as it should, then I can guarantee that when I put the dance room over, it cures that. The longer wings also provide really good stability. Now, of course, not everyone is gonna like a higher wing, but often I find it also helps with dancers that have a tendency to roll this way or that way, gives them more stability. It's also been a great shoe for people with a lot of hypermobility because it really keeps them more stable. It also says special material in the toe area has soundproof qualities and improves durability of points. Ah, so basically that's the same kind of thing as the Pro. Um, so it has on there like quietness as well. So I don't really understand um, personally what the difference is between the Pro and the normal Nova if they've both got the quietness. Maybe the Pro just has a little bit more flexibility perhaps. So it also says a new glue for box construction improves lightness. So that makes a big difference. So as I mentioned earlier, the 2007 box is hard, but the Nova box is more flexible. Can you see I can press it and it's a lot more generous? And um, that's due to the elastic paste that they use in the box there. Um, so that's quite nice also. I find that some dancers that don't want a harder box, they really enjoy this paste. Again, you know, that having a box hardness relates to a number of things. You know, it can relate to how it fits for you, um, how comfortable it feels for you, and also uh, lifespan. Um, I have found that dancers who sweat a lot in their point shoes um, and the box dies quickly, that the paste in the Nova um, sometimes won't always be um, a longer life box. They will have to um, jet glue it or she like it. Um, she like his French wood polish, by the way, not the stuff for you now. <laughs> um, so if you find that you sweat a lot, you might need, and you wear point shoes a lot, then maybe you might want to request that the box is made harder in a special order. Just my thoughts. It also says um, wider platform adds stability and balance. So the platform, which is this part here, definitely is um, more wider and it's more oval. Let me see if I can just show you guys the difference. It's not a huge, huge difference, but you can see it. And I've personally worn all these shoes and I can tell you, I can definitely feel the difference there. So that's another cool feature. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you about it? So in terms of shank strengths and the way the shank is made, the shanks are made I am pretty sure the same way as the 2007 shank. They both have this lovely flex in the free quarter and a good roll through. Um, they've both got the machine stitch soles. Um, of course, you can get vegan on request. And the shanks come in super soft, um, all the way to super hard. So for those of you who don't know, in these traditional type shanks, we have super soft, then you have soft, then you have medium, then you have hard, then you have super hard. Um, you can, of course, also change aspects about the shank in a special order if you wish. And the widths come from 1x to 5x, and you can get a 6x width on request if you like. And remember, you can change so many things in a special order if you desire. So I'm just going to pop the um, shoes on the floor now and get some different angles for you guys to show you the difference. I will also do a little series with an actual dancer to show you um, on a dancer's foot. I won't use my own feet because I just cannot wear these models. Um, they're too high in the vamp for me and too strong. Even in the super soft, I just hold back a lot because I haven't got the best feet for point anyways. So I will do that for you too. So let me just show you guys um, some closer angles of the shoes. So here we have 2007 with Nova next to each other. As you can see from afar, they look 
rather similar actually. Now let's go around this way. Now, as you can see, this one looks more tapered in the box. Bear in mind, they're both the same size and width, but this one looks more broader in the box here. We've got a deeper U-cut vamp on the Nova compared to the 2007. And if we look at the platforms, um, let me try to put these up this way so we can get a better angle on that. As you can see, the Nova here is definitely more broader in the platform than the 2007. They both have machine stitch soles. And let me show you the difference in the satin. So satin on this one, not as smooth, but with the double upper on the Nova, it definitely makes a difference. Look how smooth and sleek that is. Let's show you the heel heights. So as you can see, this is 2007 and this is Nova. Look at the difference there. There is definitely a difference. The insides look the same, as you can see. Side quarters are, well, the Nova is slightly shorter, I think. And let me show you the difference in the box paste. Hard, has a squish because it's the flexible paste. Tuck the drawstrings in. They both have a drawstring. Of course, you can remove the drawstring if you wish. Um, and you can also have them special order without a drawstring. And of course, there's many modifications you can do if you want to customise them. Um, but yeah, there you go. As always, um, thanks for watching. Please feel free to drop me any questions. I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, Please follow me on all my social media and please subscribe to this channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.